law of parallelogram and vector addition uh, in this law we have to find the resultant of two forces acting at a point for the figure shown we are suppose there is a point a on which two forces p and q are acting simultaneously then resultant of these two forces is represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram the definition of this law of parallelogram is that if two adjacent sides of a parallelograms are represented two forces in the figure shown the p and q then the diagonal of, diagonal of this parallelogram that is represented by ac is the resultant of these two forces i repeated if the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are represented by two vector quantities that i suppose that one is p and this another one is q then resultant of these two vector quantities that is resultant of these two vector quantities r is represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram this is the diagonal of the parallelogram now we construct something if this one i suppose this one is p then this one is also p as the sides are parallel and e equal then we resolve the this value of p in two form that is p cos theta and p sin theta method of resolution in, is shown in this figure that we suppose this is hypotenuse this is perpendicular and this one is base then sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse then we calculate cross multiply we got p equal to h sin theta similarly if we have to find cos theta then cos theta is based upon hypotenuse then b equal to h cos theta now we learn this formula the resolution in this way if hypotenuse is h then this angle is theta then this one is h cos theta it means that h cos theta always near to theta and this one is h sin theta perpendicular is h sin theta now the same method we apply in this case if this one is p then this one is p sin theta and this one is p cos theta like this one and this h this is h cos theta this is h sin theta this is p p cos theta and p sin theta now we apply a pythagoras theorem in triangle aec triangle aec that is ac square equal to ae square plus ce square now the value of ac is r here now the value of ae is a is the sum of ab plus be ab is equal to q and b is equal to p cos theta that's why we represent a equal to q plus p cos theta whole square c is p sin theta then we apply the formula a plus b whole square then q is q square p is p square cos square theta then 2 q p cos theta a square b square plus 2 ab 2 ab then p square sin square theta now in the given equation p square cos square and p say sin square p square is common then we got the value of cos square plus sin square theta the value of cos square plus sin square theta is equal to 1 the value of this trigonometric value of cos square plus sin square is 1 then r is equal to under root of q square plus p square plus 2p cos theta then we have to find the direction of this resultant angle between p and q is theta what if we have to find the direction of r with q then we suppose this angle is beta then in this triangle ace tangent beta i is equal to perpendicular upon base that is perpendicular is p sin theta and base is q p cos theta that is shown this formula tangent beta i is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular is p sin theta base is q plus p cos theta Okay thank you